And Ivis is officially 20 mana. He's a 33, 33. Insane. Hey, buddy, watch this. So this deck is an Ivis OTK, where we give our opponents a Soulbound Ashtong, and then we hit it with a 30 plus Ivis. Uh, that said, Warrior is, is, I guess, our worst matchup by a mile because they pretty much always have extra life. Uh, maybe if it's Pirates, they don't have extra life, but usually they do because of hero power. So our 33 damage uh, combo here may just not be enough. It's a really good opener here, though. Nature on one, Growth on two, Coin Guff on three. Guidance might give me some extra resources, yeah. Uh, wasn't a pirate running Blackwater Cutlass. Oh my god, what? It's a rogue. It's not a warrior at all. Rogue is... <laughs> rogue is dreamy. They did gain two armor, but two is fine. Four is where it really matters. If they honestly get to four, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to do some damage. Presumably, like, Best in Shell would, uh, you know, offer that option, no so... Not just no one. Not even me. You rogue? What? I never would have guessed, dude, after trading the uh, Cutlass. Who could have guessed? <laughs> uh, let's let's Guidance here with our spare mana. Lunar's actually really good. Uh, yeah, Heart of the Wild's not great, so let's not overload. I don't really need a Heart of the Wild. It's actually kind of nuts with Best in Shell, though. Maybe I do take it. Not really that worried about overload right now. Yeah, it's actually really good with Best in Shell. So never mind. I like it a lot. So we go uh, Lunar, Lunar Hero Power or something. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Uh, Nate the Great with three months. Thanks, Nate. Yeah, Bog Beam would be okay instead of an Armor Vendor, maybe. That's that's a reasonable suggestion, I think. Serves a similar sort of purpose. Remove a middle-sized Dealio. Dealio, he says. All right, this is fine. Ramping up pretty hard here. You can actually go Solar Best in Shell already. Uh, that's eight. Can I play a Heart of the Wild with it? That's 11, not quite. Might want to take a ramp turn here. I am light on cards though. I, I sort of need to play this Nourish for, maybe we'll just play a Scenarian this turn. Hero Power Scenarian, that's pretty good. Maybe get a nice Rushman in or something. Thankfully, they only went to 32. Wow, that's a good death rattle. Jeez. That's strong. Once I have a lot of spare mana, right, we can start nourishing at that point. Oh, God. I love that he's getting better minions off Reconnaissance than I am off of Scenarian Ward, dude. Come on. That's so stupid. That's so annoying. Um... Yeah, we, we might have to go Solar Best and Shell here. We have enough for the heart now, so it's a pretty nut turn. There'll be a bunch of 3-8s on board. Actually, one will be a 5-10. That, that'll definitely be good against Rogue. I am kind of playing it into the into the Scab's turn, though. They have 7 mana, right? Do I have to wait until there's a Scab's that's been played? I guess the question is, are they ever going to play Scab's if I don't do this? <laughs> you know? I mean, I guess the good news here is if they do play scabs, at least I'm dealing with, like, a lot of stuff. Like, I'm killing two three threes, more or less. I mean, technically, I'll be killing a bunch of totems, literally, because the hand will be full. I do get my turtles back, so it's not like they're totally gone. Maybe what I should do is not use the Heart of the Wild. Save that for later, but still, um, still go Solar Best in Shell. So it's kind of a, you know, bit of a hedge, I guess. So they decide to scab, it's like, okay, do your thing. If not, we're chilling. The only downside of this is that the three threes don't trade especially well here. Okay, no scabs yet, all right. I like it. Maybe half measure HP instead of buff. Yeah, that's where I landed, I hope it's right. It's still really good against this board, honestly. Even with the three ones left behind, who cares? I think this is a fine play. I got a Nourish for card draw now. I'm out of cards. We can always overgrowth for ramp. Nourish can do both, right? So 
Nourish for draw. We need that other best in shell probably at some point. Still missing pretty much every combo piece. Only Omu around. Yeah, this is fine. Ooh, what? wait, what did he parlay? I didn't even notice. What did he parlay? Oh, he got Iron Bark. Oh, okay. That's fine. We need one Iron Bark sometimes, but not even always. Uh, let's draw first, see what we find. Armor Vendor. I can actually play an Armor Vendor now if I decide to hit face, but it's kind of risky, actually. A Starfall here would have been nuts, but I think I'll take a Heart of the Wild again just to... Uh, oh, I might go Composting, actually. I do need to draw more cards still. Yeah, I don't really need buffs that badly, but I do need to draw cards. Okay, sick. Uh... Oh, cool, okay. Does this proc itself? It's a really interesting question. Does it proc itself? I am holding another a card from another class. They played the Iron Bark? Am I losing my mind? On what? What did they play it on? I remember three threes, I remember Kazakis. My time has come. Everything I've got. I don't know. Yeah, it's, is it in hand? Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, they haven't played it yet. Okay, that's fine. Counter tempo here. Like, I, by the way, I, I did give them the parlay that could theoretically screw me, but it's so unlikely to be drawn. I, I just value stuff to do instead, I, I think, more. Feel free to debate that, though, because it is definitely debatable. Okay, we're getting close again. Uh, why isn't this yellow, guys? It's not yellow. You said it would work. Oh, armor. Shoot, I gotta go face now. I have a bit of a risk here. I might actually overdraw if I'm not careful. Oh, Swashburglar gave him a Shaman Hero card. Unbelievable, dude. I gotta be careful. I'm gonna overdraw. <sighs> armor vendors are useless to me. This is pretty good. You're not getting in this way. I actually need to dump cards. I think I have to play this. <laughs> I want to only take one here and I kind of want to play it. Yeah, perfect. I need to get them to 33 anyway, so that's great. Okay. So I draw two, that puts me at nine. I don't burn anything. I'm really just looking for Silas and I'm good to go. I guess I technically need more mana, but Guff can do that. Um, you can't always trust they got a hero, like that's so insane to get a hero card, by the way. Like <laughs> so good. Um, does this draw three or just gain two? Gain two, okay. So, uh, is Silas just lethal here? As long as I don't mess it up. I need their board to not be full, I guess. Oh no, that doesn't matter. I can always swap to my side, so that's fine. That is not a Silas, unfortunately. This is when the Cold Tooth Mine would be better than the Guess the Weight. Most scenarios, I think the Guess the Weight's better. Because you get more card draw out of it usually, but... Being able to grab a Silas specifically now would be pretty chill. Okay, so let's try to draw a little bit here. More, of course. Best in shell, that's fine. Uh, we have an Iron Bark, so I don't need anything else now for the Silas. Do I ever hit face here? just to be safe against any other, like, uh, card draw. Oh, you know what? I should have drawn first, technically. I, I kind of assumed I didn't have it here, but I think I could have drawn off Guff and still potentially have found it, right? Fortunately, we did not. Uh, instead, I'm just going to go max tempo here. Hmm. Take it back. That's enough tempo. Let's draw one more. There we go. Okay, so we're good to go next turn. Yeah, we're good to go next turn. Uh, I actually need. Oh, I actually needed to clear minions though a little bit. Vanish. Play the scabs. Oh. Wow. 
That is the sickest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god! Amazing. Actually insane. Okay, so we don't need the iron bark here. Okay, I just gotta not mess this up. Only one card left. Oh, I hope it's good. Go that way. And uh play Omu. Play whatever we need. We'll give it to Silas. And Ivis is officially 20 mana. He's a 33, 33. And he hits the Ash Tongue for lethal. Insane. <laughs> it worked. It didn't just work. It actually worked pretty well, I think. It, like, wasn't bad. Like, I sort of am into Trog. Not in a weird, creepy way. I like that it encourages minion battle. I, I, maybe it's overtuned, right? Like, maybe it's overtuned, but I, I at least like what it's encouraging. In a way. I, so I guess I like the spirit of it, perhaps. Maybe not the execution. Is that fair to say? I don't know. The spirit of Trog. We don't need these yet. These are going to be good later, but... <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> I can't wait to trade. It's, I wonder if anyone's ever traded the same two cards back and forth like a hundred times. I mean, obviously, if there's only one card left in your deck, you could do it, but like it, it, with a notable number of cards in your deck, I wonder what the record is for, for the same trades over and over again. Somebody has a record, I'm sure. More? So warrior is a real pickle for life gain, right? Like I, I can't have them hero powering a lot, or I'm gonna have to stick like some some shell boards that hit them or something, right? I can't I can't give them more than thirty three life theoretically. I do need a shell now that we have solar shell. That's really nice. We'll go guff next turn. Is it worth to coin a hero power for Guff? I don't know. I need to coin a Lunar Eclipse. Lunar, please. Nope. We'll go Guff into Nature Studies and see what happens. Uh, another Best in Shell is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. So next turn I can go... Uh, I can't go Solar Coin Shell, can I? In a box? Oh no, I can't. This will be six. No, but I want to. I want to solar the, the shell. Oh, I can't. I don't have enough mana. I'm gonna go. Oh no, I did seven. I have one and a six. Oh no, that's totally fine. Never mind. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, this board's too big though. It's gross. Oh my god. I don't think two straight solar shells is enough. I think I'm gonna die. It's not gonna be enough. These aren't big enough. They don't even trade that well. Iron Bark doesn't help. I can do this two straight turns, and it's still not going to be remotely enough to deal with this. That's gross, dude. I hate pirates. Get out of here, pirates. Cannoneer is like 80 million damage. Runthak's insane. Do you think of studies here that helps me catch up? There's no, like Starfalls left or anything, right? Like. Well, okay. Actually, I'm going to be able to maybe hit this guy. And this guy. Does he attack with face hit? Oh, no, never mind. Scratch all that. Can hit this guy. I'm almost out on board. Look at this absurdity, dude. I'm at six. I'm at six, bro. Man, I really needed a lunar, I feel like. Not having a lunar here sucks. It's really hurt me. I obviously have to play an armor vendor here. I'm, I'm sort of screwed. I have no choice. Uh, hit here. See where this rolls. I mean, it's not... We're not, like, dead on board. This could be worse. 
That's really big, though. Oh, my God. That is so big, dude. He's buffed that, like, every time off these whetstones. What the heck? He just hits the same guy every time. Like, I noticed that these other minions are in hand for a couple of those swings, right? Like, my God, dude. Face it there was actually probably pretty good. I have one more best in shell, but no solar eclipses, so... I don't know how to swing back enough. Wow, man, the cannons. Damaging your own stuff, but that's probably worth it always. Well, I don't know. Those trades wouldn't have happened if he had not... Were those... I don't know now. Hold up now. Hold up a second now. Hold up now. Hold up now. Hit, hit. Still have a taunt. Iron Bark on this. Kind of cool. Could go like Iron Bark on one of these, but... I don't think that makes enough sense. You're not getting in this way. I have one more good best in shell, right? Uh, I think less is more likely, but is it better? I I, I don't know. It might be because I might be able to win this off of medium sized Ivis. I may not need full combo, right? And Lunar Eclipse is really good too. Overgrowth I think is less less good, but still okay technically. I'm actually not sure I even want to uh, Iron Bark here. I'm not sure it's better. Might want to save this. I'm I'm technically okay on board, right? Like hit here, hit here, and I don't take any face damage. That's a Rokara. This is some other unknown entity. I guess actually, um, Shiver their Timbers would be pretty bad. But other than that, I can maybe save this Iron Bark for a bigger pop off next turn, right? Set sail. Or just another taunt when I desperately need a taunt, whatever that, you know, whatever the logic is here. But by b buffing this, I kind of give this a better trade. It's kind of what I'm thinking now, like a Lunar Eclipse kills this, for instance. Another overgrowth. Really, dude, I am running out of cards, man. I think I have to kind of go Omu here. Is this the right way to do this? I don't know how this works. Does this put me back at 15 out of 15? Oh, maybe that wasn't the right way to do that. Actually, don't know. Should have done it first and then Omud and then Iron Barked, I guess, I think. That seemed like the wrong way to do that. Uh, now I can just take their... Rokara. Is that the right play? Give them an Omu and take the Rokara and taunt it? Twice? This is my bridge. How does that go? Oh, I could have hero power first too. Yeah, actually, uh, that's another good point. Yeah, hero power first also would have been pretty cool. So we're throwing combo here, but just to try to win on board, right? Because I think Pirate Warrior's not very good at dealing with this sort of thing. And maybe I just win with an 11-14. You can't take Jug. It doesn't interact like that, sadly. That would be sick. But as you saw, I... Would have taken the jug had it had it worked the way you think. Oh, I did give him a five four. Oh yes, of course I could have gave the Silas over. Yeah, obviously that's that's worse. I'm stupid. Yeah, I made like good macro plays there, but like two small mistakes I think, or maybe even three with the Omu. I don't know how the Omu. I thought the Omu overgrowth would be fine, but because spell burst happens after. I I thought I'd go to fifteen out of fifteen. That actually surprised me. We know now we should do like Overgrowth, then Omu, then Iron Bark. Although I would have had to Iron Bark the Omu and I didn't end up doing that, so I'm not sure. Maybe that wasn't always the problem. Not having a 5 4 here, though, as you can see, actually matters quite a bit because now I can't kill the 4 5 easily. Although, maybe we just happily Omu this. I mean, Ivis this. So 13, 15, 17 for the, uh, for the Ivis. But I get a 3-4 down, which is actually pretty good. Hero Power Bloom? But I want to put the 3-4 in. This doesn't really cost me much. Um, the Ivis will still be fairly significant, right? And I get a 3-4, which is pretty nice. Hero Power actually makes my Ivis a little, little more smaller for no tempo upside, right? I don't gain any tempo upside on this. Okay, so... This is pretty good. There is no way for Pirate Warrior to interact with a 27-25. Correct? 
I think. I mean, I Shiver Their Timbers ain't it. Oh my god, Bulwark is actually insane, though. It's gonna cost me 27 damage. Are you joking? Bulwark is... Oh, they do have Coerce, actually. You're right. They do sometimes run Coerce. Yes. That's true. They do run Coerce. Wait, why would you do that? Just for two damage, trying to snipe face? That makes sense. Actually, I like that. It does mean I can hit you for 27, but you get a face out. That's actually kind of sneaky. I like that play. Uh, I need armor vendor or a way to gain life off of guidance or nature studies. Uh, if I go for mana crystal here, overgrowth actually draws me a card, but I have to commit mana. It's the same difference as mana that much. Okay. Guidance is good. Armor gain, please. No armor gain. I don't really want composting because I need to hit face twice to deal 27, right? So composting doesn't really help me. I guess I take low fly in that case because I decrease the odds that I die to the juggernaut pings, right? Okay. So I hit for 27. Put one extra minion. I mean, I could die to the snipe here. If I get sniped like this, I'm going to be so mad, dude. I'm going to be so mad. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Does he have coerce? Don't have coerce, please, God. Oh, my God. Is that enough? No, it's not enough, right? It's not enough. Nine and six is only 14. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> this game. I can't believe we won like this. This is crazy. This is actually crazy that we won like this, dude. I can't believe it. I didn't even play it really all that well. I, I think I made the right macro lines again, but just a lot of little mistakes. Like, could have had that 5-4, that would have helped. All those little things would have added up, but we still got there. Dude, that's crazy. Do you guys remember that board? When I, they had, like, six pirates, and I thought we were so dead when I played all the turtles. Somebody in chat even said it's over. Give it up. And we still won that game, dude. I want you to take stock of that, where we were. They had like five or six buffed pirates on board. I will heal the eternal forest. Think about that, and we still somehow pulled it back. That was crazy. All right, overgrowth's fine. It turns out mana's really good. I'm a marshal, guys. I missed it. How did you start the comeback? Best in shell. I think it's like the new better spreading plague. Solar best in shell is is very good. It's turning out perhaps to no one's surprise. Oh, uh, yeah. Normally I would feel a little bad about this curve, but um, I can use at least a tradable card. I'm starting to think best in shell is better than Scenarian Ward. It's so good. So I can use this and this together as a tradable. So I, I, normally I would maybe not want to do that i might actually still think about holding for the overgrowth here just hero power on two i mean if i talk like a wild growth that's the real dream but maybe we hold for the overgrowth to get these best shells active sooner yeah i think so no urgency at all right now so guess the way it will be absolutely fine later i think the warrior swinging with bulwark was the misplay i do too yeah I, I saw why they did it they wanted to get extra pings in the pool with that cannoneer that made sense but it did, it did give me a chance to hit them for 27. Now, I would have hit them for 27 eventually, obviously, because the weapon would have been overwritten, but they might have had another turn or two to look for some scrappy removal or damage. Maybe they knew they didn't have a coerce, so the clock wasn't going to help them much, like they were never going to deal with the guy. But they could have still sniped face. But then again, they, they got extra damage by playing it the way they did. So that's kind of the same as getting an extra turn off the Juggernaut. So I kind of get it. I, I think there's reasonable reasonable reasons to do it reasonable reasons it, it, it basically gave them an out which i'm not sure if they had an out if they had a coerce in their deck i think it was wrong to swing if they didn't have a coerce in their deck i think it makes sense to swing i totally get it okay so actually best in shells might be very good against poison poison stuff here and we have three of them no solar yet but maybe they actually have to hit six of these you know that might be cool. Also, armor vendors, you know, certainly if we need to, armor vendors are fine. Especially if they're using face damage a lot by swinging into taunts, I can play my armor vendors and net a lot of extra life. 
What happens if you play resizing pouch at 20? I actually don't know. I'm assuming you just get a 10 drop, but I'm not sure. They should add a 19 drop to the game just for that. <laughs> it's what always gives you some insane 19 mana card as a reward for guff. Okay. What are the minions in this deck? What minions do they run? Oh, Plunderer makes sense. Okay. It's a pretty good Plunderer. Here's one of the taunts. I think I'm just going to play more. I, I could theoretically hold for a Solar Eclipse. Maybe I'll save that last one for a Solar Eclipse. I'm a little bit worried about um, scabs in that case. Let's see what we draw and stuff. That'll change our fate a little, maybe. Oh, that's sad. I think that's a good card to get, though. Let's go here. I think one is fine for now. Let's see, they're back to 29, even though I played an armor vendor. So now the next armor vendor puts them at 33, which is our break point, which is fine. So I can play both vendors, no problem. And I'm assuming they'll take even a little more than that. Is there any world where they we like use enough of their removal and then we play an Ivis and that sticks as a giant taunt? <sighs> I did overgrowth a little early here. It's kind of what we had, so I don't hate it, but you don't really want to get to 10 until you have a guff, because then you kind of waste turns, you know? But I didn't, I don't know. I could have played a best in shell, but I don't really need another one yet. We know we're getting nature studies this turn, so that's good. We can find something cool to do. Maybe a uh, scenario world would actually be great now. They seem very stumped almost. Like they are just drawing a million cards. Uh, I wonder if they knew that I had this hand, if they would just keep at it. I don't know. Um, we've eaten a lot of damage already. I wonder if they're digging for a coerce or something, like some actual hard removal. I don't really know what to expect in Poison Rogue right now. I just don't know the list well enough. Oh, but I bet they'd smite stuff. That's for the smite. I see. I see. Well, let's see what Nature Studies gives us. Uh, Cold Tooth Mine or Lunar Eclipse. Lunar is definitely better for later, but I need resources. I don't actually need a Silas that badly, though, is the thing. So getting the highest cost card here is not that useful, nor is a Lightning Bloom. Guess I'll take the Silas in case I can, like, bounce the, sm the Smite to my side or something. I don't know. I'm not in love with this play, though, obviously. Okay, so we expect to smite, maybe, I, I don't know, it may not come yet, but I guess if they took enough chip damage, I could play for uh, just a normal Ivis Ash Tongue, but that's too much. I don't have a refresh, I need Omu. I don't know, I, I really would love to find that Solar though, man. Getting four of these, well, I don't know, they'd probably scab, but then I could just replay them. Did they cost, what do they cost, four mana? Yeah, see, I can just replay two of them per turn. I just drank an entire Powerade, Diet Zero Powerade. I was really thirsty. You think he's taking the time to snipe? Ah, they are definitely playing pretty slow, but yeah, I don't know. You might have a point, but I'm, I, you know how I am. I hate to hate to accuse without knowing. All right, this draws me a lightning bloom, which also sucks, but it's all I got, so. Um, you know, it thins out the deck for later. Let's save that other best in shell. I, I just want to chill for a bit. Chill on the Ivis. Those are like two more waves of taunts potentially, right? Uh, what are we really looking for? Solar Eclipse, looking for maybe a Goth still is fine. Yeah, Juice Box, if you are watching, please feel free to play faster. I don't care if you watch. I'm not a big anti-sniper guy, but I would appreciate you playing a little faster. I'll tell you my hand here. It's best in shell, Ivis, Silas, and Lightning Bloom. There you go. Okay, so this is what we're talking about. Now Solar Eclipse will be absolutely insane. Although they did give me eight additional armor here. I, that, that is awesome. That is so sick. I really don't need to win with combo because eventually they're going to run out of either damage or cards and die to fatigue to chill. I could give them an armor vendor here, but I don't think that's right. Uh, this draws another lightning bloom, dude. Well, now I think I can just go, right? They, well, I don't know. I still kind of want to save for that solar, though. 
This is my last best in shell, so if I commit it now, I don't have that big solar turn. So can I get away with, like, you know, one turtle, a pathmaker, and, like, some armor vendors, basically, right? Is one turtle sufficient here? I think with the armor vendors, it probably is. Uh, he does have a blood cell raider and a smite, potentially. That's 612 plus 4. I think we'll be okay. I'm going to just kind of try to greed a little bit here. Because I have a lot of life. It, this is technically a risk. I'm acknowledging that, but I just think I really want to save this until I can get maybe a slower eclipse for one really big pop off. Because between the taunt here and the life, I, I think I'm safe to like most damage combo iterations or whatever. I mean, if he does go for like the full thing, boy, oh, I guess actually uh, you could go to, there could be two um, raiders instead of a wicked stab. That would be an additional two damage. So that would be another way maybe. Oh, well, that's interesting order. Maybe just dumping a card here. Intriguing. I don't know about that, but okay. Well, now we can just lunar that. I mean, we know Scabs is gone. Am I safe to just play best in shells? Second shank, but most of the poisons are gone. Well, not really. Silver leaf, deadly. No, that's not actually true. They still have a lot of poisons left. They can build this up pretty high. No, that wasn't his play. He was just making order, guys. He had to had to make hand space before he drew off the off the attack. It, it wasn't a misplay. They're chilling. Solar? 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 No, but guess what? It's good. I don't need runic carvings. I'm not going to overload for that garbage. Uh, less is definitely more likely here. Guess the wait again. Okay. Like, do I feel safe to not play a taunt here? Like, I'm kind of getting into the territory where... I may die. If I don't. I mean, surely I'm okay, right? I'm at I'm at 39. I have double bloom. Let's see what I find off this. Okay, iron bark actually makes me feel very good. Okay, iron bark's great. Where are my solars though? Oh, guff is additional life as well. Okay, between guff and iron bark, I'm definitely feeling okay here. Definitely feeling fine. Nourish is cool. Okay, I don't want to innervate a button. I don't think. Okay. Really want to find that solar though, man. That's like my last big thing. So what are we at? 44? Solar? I mean, we're getting close to combo now too, I guess, right? I need Ashtong and Omu, but only, well, and mana. They're 31, so that's in range. That's fine. Man, that extra eight armor off the scabs was a big deal for me. Like double armor vendor, right? That was crazy. They are basically in fatigue now. Ivis OTK, how does this work? You play Ashtong and Silas. You push the Ashtong to your opponent's side of the board. Uh, it deals damage to the hero based on the amount of damage it takes. Then you play Omu. You refresh your mana to 20. You summon a 20 mana Ivis, which deals 33 attack. And you hit the Ashtong for 33 damage dealt to the opposing hero. So, yes, you were right. It's very bad against anything that has 35 health. <laughs> you have identified its greatest weakness. <laughs> 30 34 health is unkillable <laughs> but it, it's actually working surprisingly well it's just like an anti-aggro deck and stuff I, I, I don't know it's kind of crazy how well it's working just to like shut people down finally a solar eclipse my god so now i can just innervate solar i mean bloom solar uh dude and i, I suspect this will this will seal the deal here. I don't think without scabs they have any other additional wide board removal. Four taunts basically denies their shank forever. They're in fatigue. Shouldn't need any sort of combo. Ways to ruin your day. I don't. Does Rogue have any way to deal with this kind of board without scabs? Can't. I can't think of anything. Smite double things is fine now. I mean, I still got to deal with killing these, I guess, but. So we hit the solar just in time. I've been talking about it the whole game. It's like just in time. What do the shadow steps here do? 
It's just for show? Because you could have shot us up to smite and actually done... But he forgot to attack first. He's just BMing, I guess, yeah. Just BMing. <laughs> he could have cleared one and shot us up and cleared another. He could have actually cleared everything this turn and left himself with a board. Like, he still would have died, obviously, but technically could have uh, dealt with stuff. I think he's. I think he is watching. I actually believe he is watching now. Juice box. GG, man. Good try. Sorry our deck was kind of a hard counter. I almost wish I could combo. Like, you think he'll stay in chat until I can combo again? Do you think he'll do you think he'll not concede and like I could actually pull off the combo? <laughs> like that would No! You let's juice box! Oh come on, dude. You're gonna be him that hard, but then not actually get comboed. What a what a loser! I was all pro juice box, and then you just gonna have to you're gonna have to hightail it at that point. <laughs> You thought I hit the concede button? <laughs> Juice box is here. No worries, man. GG. Sorry we um, sorry we uh hard countered you, dude. That was tough.